All right, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another Train Driver 2 episode or, well, stream, I guess. <laughs> right, uh, my apologies for the clock on the countdown not being exactly correct today. Uh, I, after I started the stream, I realized I messed up a few settings in OBS and that caused me to actually switch my scenes uh, preemptively. <laughs> anyway. I am here and we are going to drive some trains. Yes, uh, that is the main purpose of today's episode. So let's not worry about my typical streamer fails. Yes, I, I do that quite a lot, isn't it? <laughs> Especially lately. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right. Uh, then the D. No, uh, that is not going to happen on this channel. <laughs> Let's settle it once and for all. No. <laughs> anyway. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, hello, Clarkson. Hello, Alexander. And whoever else is watching and never showed up on the chat yet. <laughs> right. Uh, guys, for today, uh, as it is in the title of this episode, we will be driving some freight trains. Yes. Oh, first time you are this early for the stream. Well, um, it's pretty much first time I'm starting that late, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's it's quite late today. Uh, but unfortunately, the closer to the Christmas, uh, the more busy I am and the less time I got for streaming. But today is the day I can finally sit down and, and drive some trains. So yeah, the stream is going to happen. Yay! Avu, hello, hello, welcome to the stream, I hope you will have a great time today. Right, so, uh, let's carry on, shall we? Okay, so, the concepts that I prepared for today, let me just jump in driver mode. Uh, that's not the concept I wanted. Uh, that is the consist I wanted. Right, so what we will be driving today? 
is EU07 u237E, uh, uh, which is basically the number of, of this particular unit. And we will be pulling a grand total of 37 cars. So that's quite a lot. Uh, the length of our train will be 636 meters and the weight of the consist will be nine, uh, 1993 tons. Perfect. Oli RC, hello, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. Greetings from uh, here in the UK. <laughs> yeah, I also happen to live in the UK. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, maybe not too old for Den D, but it's not really the style of game that I play. Right, anyway, uh, let's jump in somewhere. Um, let's find a nice station to connect to. Uh, where should we go? Where shall we go? Ventritza? Nah. Uh, it's a nice station, some nice station. Uh, perhaps Geshkon Travers, that might actually be a good idea. Oh wow, 66% on Zussi 3, that is a lot. Right, uh, where am I? Am I on the main track? Oh my goodness me, why? Why this place has a spawn point of, on the main track? Right. meters 1993 tons if I remember correctly perfect let's set my lights brake type freight cabin lights gauge lights perfect okay uh, perhaps no, I, I will turn off gauge lights because I have a feeling that this hustler will have an issue with that uh, unfortunately not all of the graphical issues were fixed yet <laughs> Ollie I, I'm really glad that you enjoy this game uh, I really like it myself uh, mostly because it's in multiplayer so that's kind of unique design for uh, rail sim game. Dominic Toretto, hello, welcome, hello, hello, hello. I hope you will have a great time during today's stream. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think I'm I'm the best teacher ever, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad you enjoy my videos. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got a new timetable. Oh my goodness me, we will have to spend 30 minutes here. Oh, that's not ideal. Spider, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> The most poggers person, huh? <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh my goodness me, why did... Uh, I, I forgot to... Yeah, I, I forgot to... Say what is the speed limit for my timetable and I got 125 kilometers per hour, which is incorrect for my timetable. My goodness me. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What do I get with those dispatchers? Anyway, looks like we will be stuck here for 
quite a while. TM me. Hmm. I don't think that's the. Yeah, uh, like that's not something I requested, but well, thanks to the dispatcher that doesn't seem to realize that I should be traveling at 70. I got a timetable for 125. Obviously, I won't be traveling that fast. Uh, the new patch notes for uh, Railroads Online. Uh, yes, I, I had a quick uh, look over them. Uh, they, they haven't changed that much, to be honest. Mm -hmm. This station has only one side track and spawn can be on main track. Okay, fair enough. So, is this side track? I'm, I'm not fully familiar with this particular station. Well, it must be. Uh, yes, uh, he should definitely consider it by himself. Even if he would set my speed limit to 80, that, that would be more appropriate than 125, but well. I'm not gonna be complaining, I will just travel at the correct speed limit and that should do. Mistakes happen. Oh yes, uh, I, I've seen that. I haven't tested that function yet, uh, but yeah, we will have a look on it tomorrow during our community stream. Yes, uh, speaking of community stream, tomorrow, uh, if anyone wants to join us uh, at 5 p.m. British Standard Time or whatever that is called, uh, we will be playing Railroads Online. So if you want to join us, uh, jump into my Discord server and all the server details will be posted there. Right, anyway, uh, did I actually lock my camera? Uh, this one, this one, perfect. Uh, in fact, I could... Uh, where is that? Uh, 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 train heating? No, no. Oh, pantograph. There we go. For now, I can raise it. Uh, we'll be stuck here for next 20 minutes, I guess. Uh, Oli, uh, the game is in early access, so uh, like things will eventually get better over time. But yes, right now the simulation is mm, kind of a subpar. But it's still fun. Oh, it is only the postal train. That's that's nice. Oh, okay, okay. 160 in Sweden. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you had railroads online, but refunded it. Oh, hmm. that's interesting. Right, anyway, let me jump out. Let's have a look at this scenery. I remember traveling through Skiesh Contrevers, but I actually never paid attention to how this scenery is built. <laughs> yeah, that, that is true, Spider, that is true. Uh, like. 80 kilometers per hour is the most you will get for freight train. And 130, yeah, that, that feels like a light speed in some of the units. Hmm. Oh yeah, the next update, yes. 
Hmm, when is the next update for D-Ray Valley? I think they mentioned that it's gonna be released before end of the year, so we got about one and a half months, isn't it? Uh, no, I can't say it. <laughs> 2022. I, I think when they first announced it, uh, they said it's going to happen before the end of the year. Okay, so that's a single track scenery. Oh, I see. I, I wasn't following the news, so, like, the last news I got is, is pretty much the announcement of, of the new update. Uh, so if they postpone it, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty bad. But on the other hand, if that will improve the quality of the update, that's, uh, I guess that's good. Oh, so Steam page still says it's coming end of 2021 so yeah that's that's what i thought uh second king i don't have commands for Discord. Uh, my bots will post information automatically, or you can just visit the uh, description of the video and, and you will find my Discord. Oh, I see. So if it's not official yet, well. It happens, like, it applies to many things in in 2021, everything gets delayed, and so yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see massive delays in, in production of games, uh, so like, games like SimRail, I, I don't think it's gonna be released this year, and they effectively have like six weeks to release it if they want to make it, and if they're gonna do it, uh, that's gonna be rushed release, and I'm afraid this game might be a little bit worse than it might be if if they would postpone it. Uh, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, probably the same applies to Diray Valley. Uh, Not much is happening here, but since I'm driving a freight train, I believe we might have some delays. Oh wow. Yeah, me too. Like, I was mostly disappointed with the graphics. Like, if you look over their Discord, um, they posted some sneak peeks of uh, how the graphics looks like before release of the demo. And when I started the demo, it felt like I'm playing some old 8-bit game. Like, literally, the anti-aliasing was non-existent. Uh, but that's mostly due to scaling problem. Uh, like, they made the game to look good in, like, 2 or 4K. I can't remember the resolution they posted the pictures at. Oops, uh, I forgot the bridges have this kind of issue in the game. Uh, but eventually, when the game got downscaled to 1080p, it looked like rubbish.
Uh, spider, I'm I'm perfectly fine with waiting, so like I'm I'm not on a rush. To be fair, I wonder if the scenery change is tied to a character model or to a train. So technically, if I would run on foot all the way to to the end of the scenery, what would happen? Did anyone test that? Oh, it's bound to train. Okay, that's... That's good to hear. Yeah, that got me really curious. I don't think I'm gonna make it in, well, 14 minutes. That's that's quite a long time. In fact, what I might do... Ah, never mind. Worst case scenario, this patcher will just write to me that, that I need to get my train moving. And I can always teleport back. Oh, it was also a derailment in a remote area. Oh, yes, uh, yeah. Uh, if, if the train derails at, in the middle of nowhere, yeah, that, that must be pain for uh, any, like, repair crews to, to fix the issue. Playing Omnibus 2. I, I, I've never heard about this game. I will probably have a look at it after the stream ends. Another bridge that lets player model to follow through. Hmm. Is this some sort of bus simulator? feeling that we are getting close to the end of the scenery. Right, what is that station? Grotniki, yeah. okay. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that we are getting close to the end of the scenery. <laughs> okay, wrong game. Oh, another bridge. I hate those. Oh, OMC2. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm getting close. I can feel that. Oh, it is a bus simulator. Okay, okay. Yep, 
yeah, ma many of those like smaller simulators, like bus simulators, uh, even tram sim, uh, they they like have that performance issue, mostly because probably those games are not super popular. Well, not super popular. They they gain popularity because they are one of the first on the market and probably well and they are also made by some sort of smaller development studios so they don't really have that much experience in optimizing the games uh, so yeah it's it sounds quite normal that those games will struggle with some performance issue uh, obviously it will probably get better uh, as the game gets uh, more and more popular and older uh, but yeah, definitely when it first comes out and, and like first few releases uh, will have some performance issues. Uh, yes, Spider, I'm, I'm heading towards the end of the scenery. Yeah, in in OMC, like it it will matter a little bit more when when your game will suddenly stop for a few seconds. <laughs> uh, especially that's uh, like any any sort of car simulator will require you to actually uh, operate the steering wheel. There we go. I I think I can see the end of the scenery. Is it? it okay we still got eight minutes oh wow Well, I also have no clue what's going to happen, because I, I've never actually tested that. Well, technically, if uh, if the scenery change is tied to, to a train, nothing should happen. I should basically fall off the map and, and um, suffer from some issues. Obviously, I won't run that far. Uh, but it will be funny if the next, next scenery will start to load and my train will stay on this. Although I didn't have any scenery loading or, or something like that, so I, I believe yeah it will be just the end. There we go. Okay. And yeah, we have reached the world's end. So, you know, all the flat earthers uh, can now have their proof that the earth is indeed flat, you know. There's the hard border, you know. <laughs> Oli RC, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna step off because I got timetable and, and that would probably not end well. Uh, although technically I should be able to teleport back to my locomotive, but I don't know how the game will react. And since I'm not in direct contact with a dispatcher, I, I don't really want to test it. Right, anyway, I can use my quick teleport to get back to the locomotive, so I won't have to run back all that way. <laughs> right, that took us some time. We, we got five more minutes to relax and, and get ready. Yeah, too risky, uh, definitely. Uh, that's uh, that's the ground I've never tested, so I, I don't really want to break the game and then try to deal with a dispatcher. Uh, definitely. At one point, I will give it a test.
Oh, I just realized that I got a shunting stop at Arcadia's Druid. So, I guess that's that's not the worst timetable I've ever had. Uh, we will have some fun in there. Uh, moving around my train. Oh, there we go. Streamlabs decided to post my links. <laughs> But countries drive on the left on the railway. Well, definitely they drive on the left in United Kingdom. I'm not sure about Japan. Uh, I know they drive on the left on the road, but uh, I'm not sure about their trains. Uh, are there any countries that actually drive on the left? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, Switzerland as well. Okay. I always thought that Switzerland is uh, the right hand side. Uh, Sweden does. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Okay, if everything goes good, uh, in two minutes I should be able to depart. <laughs> Glad you are not alone. Okay, lights are set correctly. One more minute. I see, I see, I see. Okay, 30 seconds. Uh, question is, is the signal going to change? To be honest, if, if there was no need uh, and the system that exists at the time um, was good, then why switch? Why change something that works? Uruk 10, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. Right, so we are officially late. Uh, I'm not sure why dispatcher is not sending me out. Uh, uh, but we'll see. Uh, perhaps the next scenery on the line uh, might have some issues. Which is... what is that? Porensk. Oh, and I got technical stop at Porensk. So that might explain why I'm not moving just yet. They will probably try and hold me off. I could, I could try it, but on the other hand, I'm on a single track scenery, so definitely I'm now blocking someone's path, or I soon will. So I'm not worried, because this patcher will definitely want 
to remove me from this scenery one way or another. <laughs> the best way is to get my route secured. Uh, rain, yes, I heard about it. It's fun game. Uh, definitely it has quite a lot of uh, realism. And the level of simulation is really good. Uh, what I don't like about Machina is... Uh, like, scenarios sometimes can... Well, get buggy. <laughs> In fact, every single time I tried this game there was some issue with the scenario. And... Uh, that, that put me off this game a little bit. Uh, but I like the level of simulation. I like the fact that you can just walk inside of your locomotive or rather go into that um, middle compartment and operate various different things inside. Right, let's give him F6. Let's see if he's gonna answer. Yeah, sometimes I, I feel like that's the case, uh, but yeah, in many cases uh, that's not really the case. Okay, so yeah, he knows that I'm already delayed. There we go. <laughs> John Anderson, hello, welcome to the stream, I hope you will have a great time today. Hmm. By the way, isn't this one of those dispatchers that usually sits on multiple sceneries? Maybe he's just a dispatcher on... ...on few stations, that's why he... ...well partially forgot about it. Uh, Rain, yes, I will be taking a new timetable and hopefully this time a dispatcher will issue me correct uh, timetable because this one is not not correct uh, for the train that I'm driving. There we go. Oh yeah, uh, that explains why he forgot about me. I, I think I went a little bit too far with it, isn't it? Yeah. There we go.
And I was wondering why all of a sudden my locomotive went so silent. That was a little bit too suspicious. Okay. Hmm. There's a legend that there once was an underlaid cargo train <laughs> in Poland, but I think it's a myth. Yeah. <laughs> And from my timetable, I can tell you I'm going to have massive delays. Mostly because the timetable was issued for a different speed limit. Right, Uruk. Uh, if you can't finish your timetable for any given reason, uh, just message a dispatcher and tell him that you will have to finish sooner and ask him to delete your timetable and that's all you have to do when he confirms that he's gonna do it you can just go back to main menu and that's it as long as you contact with a dispatcher and ask him to delete your timetable that's perfectly fine Nice! I, I was always super poor in Deray Valley. <laughs> Never managed to save any. And every time I did, I, I caused a massive disaster somewhere and I had to spend all of it to cover for, uh, for the insurance. <laughs> right, let's let it coast. I'm already going a little bit too fast for my taste. FDL, hello, hello, welcome to the stream, I hope you will have a great time today. Okay, we are almost at the end of the scenery. Oh, I'm actually speeding okay let me just give it a touch on the brakes okay that should slow me down there we go the next scenery is now loading there okay we are approaching the edge of the world <laughs> there we go
little toots, big toots, and powerhouse. Mm, yeah. Sounds correct. Sounds pretty correct for the names of different units in the Ray Valley. After playing the C3 I have come across the signal with the three round lights placed in a triangle to indicate that a signal is out of order or if something blocks the line it can indicate a transfer. Hmm. Uh, Not exactly, I don't remember any sign like that. If, if the signal is out of order and uh, is, well, and it's been cancelled, uh, then we put a white cross over it, or white X, and there is a sign for it. Uh, I'm not sure if we are going to pass through any scenery that has one of those, but basically it looks like somebody put an X over the signal. Uh, so that's the sign in Poland to cancel that specific semaphore. Uh, there is also uh, a single semaphore with white lights to indicate that specific signal doesn't apply to your particular track. Uh, but that's the only indication of cancellation. If you are supposed to move on the opposite track or on the track that normally goes in opposite direction, there is um, a signal called uh, W24 and it's placed under the semaphore and it's ba basically a slash line. So that's slightly different. Uh, the only well, the only signal that comes to my mind from your description would be uh, a lantern for the junction, I think. And uh, that would probably be the one that I got in my mind. Oops, I'm, I'm moving a little bit too fast, chat. Uh, again, I didn't pay too much attention to the signals. Yep. I'm moving a little bit too fast. And now I will be moving a little bit too slow. I'm a genius, isn't it, chat? Oh great. The train is holding me now. Come on, move. Okay, let's get moving. Ah, that's all I... That's what I get. There we go. There we go. Now I'm moving. Okay. Come on. Let's just get onto that siding. Yep. A little bit of a standstill. My mistake. Uh, I overused brakes a little bit. And since I'm traveling with a freight train, it takes a while to release them. Come on, let's get moving. There is an express train coming.
Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm glad that you enjoy it and I hope you will find it useful. Okay, so now I'm approaching the red light. Oh great, Arcadia is offline. That's indeed a uh, quite large problem because that's my shunting stop. Oh, okay, he's trying to rejoin. Okay, perfect. Let me just release the train brake and apply locomotive brake to make sure that my train won't go on its own. Uh, Uruk, my train is, if I remember correctly, 636 meters long. So it's a quite long. Oh, okay, that's that's pretty unfortunate place to stop, isn't it? I I can't see my whole train. There we go. Well, probably it will be hard to spot it anyway. Yeah, it's quite long. It it ends somewhere near that red light, which is not uh, entirely correct. I I just hope that I manage to fit my train so that I'm not blocking the junction. Uh, but worst case scenario, I still got few meters to the semaphore, and I can always pull in closer. So yeah, that's pretty long train. Uh, to be fair, it's it's mostly wooden. Uh, like th all those wagons are made of wood. Well, apart from wheels and, and stuff, but yeah, it's, it's like a wooden carriages. Uh, I think the last 11 carriages are platforms with rails. Okay, so that is intercity train that I'm letting pass. There we go. I think that will be... No! Okay, the yeah, buggy thing. SH-282. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's really nice in the Ray Valley to, to drive this steam locomotive. It's, it's kind of fun. I heard it it gets even better when you use uh, mods to make it a little bit more realistic. Right, let's see if I'm actually clear of this junction. <laughs> yeah, definitely, but uh, I guess they are not long lasting. Ooh, okay, I can see a problem. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I will fix my position before it will end up in a massive disaster. Let me just push forward.
Okay, let's make sure that this express won't crash into my last wagon. Because <laughs> Everything fits with enough power. Yeah, the problem with my train is that most of the sidings in the game are just long enough to fit it. And obviously very often I need to stop really close to the semaphore otherwise uh, other trains are running into risk to crash into my last wagon. Just a tiny bit closer. I should be safe now. Just to make sure. Okay. That should be enough. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need to work on my stopping accuracy, especially with those trains. And that's mostly be uh, why I'm playing so much freight trains. It's, it's really tricky to stop them at the right spot. Oh, it's not. Yeah. Um, it's probably because my train doesn't fit between two signals and that is not something I can do. <laughs> because the signals in opposite direction are unfortunately uh, like 500 meters behind this one. So, yeah. Nothing I can do at all. Yeah, nothing at all. Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. I should soon get a positive signal and I will be able to proceed to Porinsk and hopefully Arcadia will be back by the time I will get to my next destination. Hmm. Applies emergency brakes and you stop two meters from red light with from 140 kilometers per hour. Yeah, I mean, an express train in this game, yeah, this is actually possible. Not with mine train, uh, not a chance. I think last time I measured that uh, to stop my consist from around 60 kilometers per hour I need around 500 meters if I will apply full brakes so yeah it's, it takes a while uh, especially if I'm traveling at around 70 80 that's wow <laughs> that's nearly a kilometer to, to stop me Anyway, 
That's the express train. Uh, this dying bee sound is unfortunately sounds of other locomotives uh, horns uh, they are not as detailed uh, for other players as it is for you so if I will use horn it will sound normally uh, but other players will hear that uh, terrible beep <laughs> Okay, we are on the move. Next stop, Porenis. Right, uh, you really like TLKs. Uh, to be honest, like I think Germany has uh, quite similar trains. Like, obviously, you got that ICE, which is basically equivalent of express train, or it is effectively an express train. Uh, but I'm not sure about uh, uh, what is that? Oh, I, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, but there is that consist. I think you can get the R101 with those wagons in uh, in Train Sim World 2. Uh, but I can't remember what was the name of, of that typical train. Uh, the dispatcher seems a bit stressed out. Yeah, they are always stressed out when they get uh, freight train uh, in their scenery. <laughs> uh, because those are very sluggish and usually they destroy all the plants. Railfans Slovenia, hello, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. Uh, I can't remember. I think it's MET. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm not super familiar with all the German uh, rails. Uh, I think you can turn up bitrate connection in settings. Uh, no, I can't because I'm also streaming to Twitch. Oh, there we go. I will be able to go through Porins without stopping. Uh, PC requirements for train driver 2. Well, I, I don't really know what they are, but uh, I can tell you one thing. They are not high. <laughs> the game is not meant to be exclusive for like high-end PCs. Uh, it's like... It is just upgraded to... Or it has just upgraded to latest version of Unity, but most of the assets... Oh, come on. I, I went a little bit too far. Uh, but most of the assets uh, are basically prepared with uh, slower machines in mind, so uh, you don't really need to worry about having older equipment. Uh, I'm fairly sure that if you have like GTX 900 series and and like pretty decent equipment five years ago or six years ago. It will be more than enough to handle this game.
Right, let's get to that speed. And Uruk, nothing. You will just have a freight train with four wagons. Uh, it's it's not that somebody will punish you for having a very short train. Okay. I mean, the shorter freight train doesn't exactly mean that it's it's any any worse. If you take SM42 and take like four wagons, you can easily reduce the top speed from 90 to 70, I guess, with some loads. So it depends how heavy your cargo is, not how long your train is. And if I remember correctly, there are some wagons that can very easily make a very short train that is super heavy. Right, anyway... We are heading to Arcadia Zdrój. Oh, there we go, we are approaching neutral section. Oh no, you won't. Uh, that's not going to happen. Uh, yes, you can actually build quite a lot of different consists and, um, and trains. So yeah, uh, there are many variations. Uh, you actually build any train you like. I look scary without eye tracking feature. I do have full eye tracking. The problem is that my camera is fixed in one position and when I move my head sometimes it loses sight of me. Uh, I've never made a tutorial about how to make a train, but it's it's quite easy. There is a built-in game editor where you basically pick each element of your train and it gives you all the parameters of, of such. Uh, so that's not really that hard. Uh, I might eventually do a short video about it. Uh, when it comes to where to spawn, it Spawns are basically described by the type of the train in most cases. And there are very few sceneries that will tell you you will spawn on signal K or something, which might be confusing at times. Uh, but in most cases it, it just says uh, what type of train can spawn 
in that place. And those spawns are adjusted to basically take every single possible, let's say, freight train that, that you may have in the game. Uh, so, if it's a freight train spawn, it will most likely accept trains up to 650 meters and, and so on and so on. Okay, I am approaching 60 km per hour speed limit, so I will just let it coast now. Since that's my current speed. Okay, there we go, we are approaching the next scenery. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. There we go. Uh Guys, I, I'm fairly sure that both of you are members of of my Discord, so why would you exchange your Discord through stream chat? Oh dear, uh, 20 km per hour speed limit, that is a nasty one. Hmm. Wait a moment. Come on, slow down you. Yikes. Okay, chat. First time I crashed. I was trying to slow my train down using only locomotive brake. Apparently, that wasn't enough. Hmm. 
Yikes! <laughs> Okay, right, so, guys, you've been, <laughs> you've seen me crashing in Train Driver for the first time. There's a lot of blood, yes. Right. <laughs> yeah, that, that screen is scary, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's pretty much the first time I crashed in multiplayer session. Uh, but that is entirely my fault. I should have used uh, train brake instead of trying to slow myself down using locomotive brake. I was fully aware that there is a 20 km per hour speed limit, uh, but unfortunately, yeah, 2000 tons is a little bit too much to slow down by 20 km or 30 km per hour. Oh well. Nothing but happened. It's just the first crash. We will just try again. But this time... I'm gonna make sure... That I will first copy my... Analysis. Right! So, those things happen. Even to the best ones. All fun at the end of the day. Well, it's not entirely... Well, it's not the most fun thing to crash your train. But that was entirely my fault. So, yeah, I, I take it upon myself. Uh, too bad. Too bad. Uh, because we were approaching shunting stop. Uh, but, well. Entirely my fault. Right, uh, I'm not gonna jump into Skeshkon Travers. Uh, let's go to Moskazhev, why not? Okay, so we are back. Same unit, same consist. Okay, great cabin lights. There we go. I might as well put the pantograph up. We'll have to set up everything again. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That was a massive failure. Camera. Perfect. Well, at least now you know how this screen looks like. There we go. Analysis sent. Hopefully my train number will be unlocked. It all depends if this patcher on Arcadia uh, managed to delete my timetable. Uh, I just did a VR flight in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Seems to be working quite well. Uh, yeah. Uh, am I still waiting? Uh, no, no. Uh, I actually crashed my train. <laughs> And I had to restart. I'm, yeah, I, I did a silly thing. Well, thankfully that is a simulator. And from time to time, even if you fail, nothing bad happens. Uh, did anyone clip it? I, I don't know. Uh, have you clipped it? Oh well, if nobody clipped it, it never happened.
anyway let's see what kind of timetable we will get this time and hopefully I will be able to finish no more failures not today yeah I, I'm, I'm I guess I'm talking too much and I'm paying too little attention to the signs and signals it will be on YouTube though uh, well you can clip me either on YouTube or on Twitch it doesn't really matter I'm not sure if YouTube allows to clip during live stream. I'm I'm fairly sure that Twitch does. Uh, but yeah, after after live stream ends uh, on YouTube, definitely there should be a clip option where you can actually highlight a specific part of, of the video and you can even share it and the video will actually play only that part for that person uh, so it works kind of similar to twitch clips although this one is not saved as a separate video i think All i'm not right. sure polish player thank you very much for subscribing me on youtube yay <laughs> Okay, okay. Hmm. And what was that sound? Oh, SWDR, don't see my number. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so that means I might have another. Okay, so I had to adjust my train number. Okay, the question is... Why did I hear a sound? I shouldn't be hearing sounds. That is a good question. Why did I hear a sound? I know what it is from. That bell sound. And I don't like it. First time I've used that clip thing. Not sure if that worked. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. very interesting right uh, the bell sound was in fact an alert from another service that I was trying to set up but I never finished that but for some reason it gave me notification just now All right. oh there we go rally have just subscribed on YouTube how Oh, I see. Member for two months. Congratulations. Congratulations, Raliev. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back. Hello. Welcome to the stream. And, well, enjoy your new rank. Yes, you've just reached level two. <laughs> two months. A crew member. That's nice. That's nice. But the question is, why did it send notification for new subscriber instead of... Uh, I, I don't know how it works. Oh my goodness me, this is the most disappointing timetable I had in my entire life. And it starts in an hour? Are you joking me now? Oh, okay, okay. There are some... Not this. <laughs> yeah, this, this timetable is kind of disappointing. 
I wouldn't mind waiting if if that would be like two three hundred kilometer long route but <laughs> oh dear that 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 would be a drive to the next scenery and that's it Uh, yes, I I went a little bit too fast over that bridge. It had 20 km per hour speed limit. Uh, so many people watching. Yeah, that's kind of typical for Train Driver 2 streams. <laughs> oh yes, uh, those are really fun. Uh, although, yeah, I, I don't really have energy recently to, to do this patching and there are not too many mechanical sceneries after recent patch uh, mostly because some of them require some uh, extra work Are you actually watching me on, on both platforms at the same time? That's, that must sound really awful. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, as we are waiting, uh, what I might do... I think I will take a short break. So, guys, um, give me five minutes.
All right, and I'm back. Uh, what did you miss? Uh, well, let's say I I made a mistake. Yeah, I made a huge mistake, and I crashed my train. <laughs> it happens. It happens. So yeah, uh, now I will get uh, I think 20% warning level for that. Uh, yeah, I, I think that was the case. And uh, the best you can give me for the moment. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. We will have to wait a bit uh, for departure. But well, that's what you can get in the evening, on the weekend, when trucks are busy. Uh, yes, you get a penalty every time you crash or pass signal and that uh, a danger so uh, you have to be aware of that if you reach 40% warning level uh, you won't be able to play the game for a few days <laughs> yes it is very high traffic uh, I think when I actually joined the game uh, it showed 102 players online so that's quite a lot. Anyway, uh, someone mentioned dispatching, is it? Uh, Uruk, yes. Uh, well, in fact, I might do my next stream as a dispatcher. I can't guarantee it will be on mechanical uh, scenery. Uh, but yeah, I, I might eventually do some dispatching. It's been a while since I've done last stream. So perhaps taking over a signal box might not be a bad idea. <laughs> uh, but that might happen next week. Can't guarantee though. Uh, it all depends how my plans for the next week will look like. And it doesn't look good at the moment. Uh, unfortunately I will have one extra day at work uh, to do. Uh, which is both nice and not. <laughs> Uh, but that leaves me with a little bit less time to stream and obviously for dispatching I always like to have at least six to eight hours uh, because that's that's the reasonable time to, to do some dispatching it also depends on the station but yeah I'll try to pick something nice for next time <laughs> uh, that's not how it works. Uh, first of all, my junctions are not set. And second thing is that on the track to my left, which I would join, uh, there's going to be a train coming, according to the lights. So definitely last thing I want to do is to crash with him. Oh, and that looks like a freight train. Yeah, that is definitely going to be a freight train. Uh, 
And here he comes. There we go. guess his timetable is a little bit more important, you know? If he's scheduled and I'm not, then yeah, that's that, that creates a, a little bit of priority. Anyway, uh, we got eight more minutes and we should be able to go on our way and hopefully this time I won't crash I will do my best to not Boshu. But it is popular. Oh. Yes, yeah, some sceneries are really hard to get. Uh, like Especially now, uh, since the last patch, uh, because there is much less sceneries available. Uh, previously, some, some sceneries that are now popular were almost always free, uh, because there were even better sceneries available and right now, nope we have to wait for some of them to come back thankfully Orniki are back uh, which is my favorite scenery and it's quite, well it used to be quite often uh, free but obviously it would get super boring if I would dispatch only on Orniki so I need to find another one that will be good enough. Everything is delayed today. Yeah, uh, like no wonder. Like if there are so many trains on the track, uh, 
then yeah anything can cause a delay what you mean my how my avatar works well I do have a webcam that tracks my face movements and eye movements and, and such and basically the avatar is programmed to mimic that more or less now obviously my camera isn't the best so it does some weird movements <laughs> uh, I think only my lips are not tracked I decided to go for uh, like a voice detection so Every time I make a noise and my microphone detects something, my avatar is just mimicking uh, that, that he is talking. And that's how it works. Rails bad, rolls good, huh? Nah. Uh, I don't know. I, I prefer to be on rails. another train incoming oh look chat it's a freight train another one there we go Lucky in two minutes, I will be able to depart. There we go, we can now depart, so let's get going. Yes, I get green with yellow because I need to go over some junctions that are limited to 40 kilometers per hour.
<laughs> I'm absolutely sure that the fact if Signaler likes me or not makes no difference in that case. Again, that you can't do like this, but that you can jump to next row and continue send it directly. Uh, I, I'm not sure what you mean about it. That was too much. But one step too much. There we go. Come on. I think we are going uphill a little bit. So what I might do... Come on, I know you can do it, train. It really feels like I'm going uphill. Oh, come on. Again, too much? That shouldn't happen on this settings. Come on. Okay, let's try it in a different ma in in a different way. It's not train machine that broke. It's just my cargo is a little bit too heavy for this locomotive at the moment. And since I'm running uphill, clearly, I'm struggling to keep my speed. Okay, high current. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Ah, that, that is still overcharging it. Guess I will have to survive with lower power. But you can now see how heavy that is. Come on. Ah, 
Okay, I'm speeding up, which is good. But the increase in speed is not high enough. It will take me ages. Come on. Oh, I see. Oh, there we go. We are loading the next scenery. Hopefully it won't be going uphill. Oh yes, it is. It is definitely classed as heavy. There we go. struggles but I, I guess the guy will get the memo oh yeah I, I forgot I need to set current level to normal if I want to do this There we go. Oh wow, chat. It it takes ages to gain speed, although I, I made some mistakes, so I think I pushed it. <laughs> Next stop sis and then go up the hill. Yeah, that that is not something that I look forward to. And uh, not a problem, that's not a problem at all. There we go. We are finally gaining speed. Right, so, those neutral sections are basically places where two different pieces of catenary are connected and, and basically they are connected to two different power supplies. So in order to go through them you have to stop drawing power, otherwise you might draw an arc and damage your pantograph for example. There we go. We are finally Traveling more or less at reasonable speed. The next speed limit is 80, although my train speed limit is 70, which doesn't really affect me. OK. 
Okay, and now the speed limit will go up to 90. But yeah, this is a very heavy cargo for this train. What do we have here? Boroviki, Bielichovo. Okay, okay. It shouldn't take long now. If I'm lucky, I will be able to fly through this scenery without stopping. So far, the signals are looking good. Okay, I can now let it coast. Okay, speed limit will drop down to 60. Okay, that should be enough to slow me down. There we go. And that was 60 km per hour speed limit zone. There we go. So far, signals are all green. Yeah, we should be able to reach the end of our timetable without any problems this time. <laughs>
Okay, we can now let it coast. There we go. That's a neutral section. Nice. So Lishitsky was adapted to SP. That's nice. I really need to try SP, but I heard there is only a handful of sceneries that supports it just yet. So probably I won't be able to do it anytime soon. But that would be fun. Time to slow down a little bit. go now oh, this is a scenery with old semaphore signals uh, so the signals will look slightly different the meaning is pretty much the same for most of the combinations uh, but the semaphores, as you can see, have a little bit more light chambers. Uh, this one actually had six. I'm not fully familiar with those, so this is going to be interesting. I haven't really driven that much on, on the sceneries with, uh, with this type of signaling. Uh, anyway, the next signal doesn't change. It is still going to be red. There we go, that's another neutral section. My goodness me, there are so many. Okay. Now I'm gonna go on the right track. There we go. Okay, now all I have to do is to pull as close to the semaphore as possible. Which shouldn't be too hard because I'm traveling at 20 kilometers per hour. So I'm fairly sure that if I will just let it coast, I should be able to stop more or less at the semaphore.
that another train or is that part of the scenery? It is really nice scenery though. and slow no need to rush the train is slowing down on its own I'm getting closer and closer to the semaphore but I still need to go a little bit further up ahead to make sure that my entire train fits on this siding it is quite long though so I might be alright. But I don't want to take any risks. There we go. That's another freight train to my left. Just a few more meters. There we go. We made it. Okay, I will apply locomotive brake just to hold the train in place and release the train brake so that when the signal will eventually change I will be able to move forward I think that is pretty much a perfect distance from the semaphore not too far, not too close and my entire train should theoretically fit onto this siding as long as it was long enough to actually fit my train hmm. should we actually check it out of sheer curiosity I will go and have a look look chat we don't need trains I can run faster Oops. see I'm faster There we go. Oh, I can see that this train is supposed to stop at, at the signal, so yeah. It will probably do a similar thing to me. Probably, because you can never be sure. Nah, he's most likely going to stop. Okay, that's one of my last wagons. A little bit more. Ah, oh, look at this shot. That's what I call a perfect fit. Okay, almost. It's like two, three more meters, and yeah, and, and my entire train would actually fit in between those semaphores. The junction is still clear. nice one right let's teleport back to the cabin okay I'm just wondering how long I will have to wait uh, it might take anywhere from 10 minutes up to 15 I guess Technically, I'm supposed to 
depart from Velikovo Gwovne at 10.22 so I guess we're gonna stay here for another 8 minutes Well, at least this time I didn't crash. Yeah. <laughs> Are they that boring? Uh, that is a good question. Why people are not talking? Perhaps everyone is focusing on that red signal. Chat, looking at it won't make it to change. I can tell you that. Feel free to ask questions. I might answer one of them. <coughs> oh yes, going through some terribly boring training at work. While you have to spend 7, 8 or 10 hours there. Yeah, that's, that's really a torture. But it is mandatory, otherwise, yeah, if you would get yourself hurt, your employer would have to pay money, and they don't want to pay you money. But we try, yeah. <laughs> I, I can tell you that staring at this signal won't, won't change it. Nope. There we go, that's a nice cold train. To be to be honest, that, that was a very common sight in, in the place where I used to live in Poland when when I used to live there, of course. Yeah, coal trains were quite popular in the area that, that I lived. I see, doing drill and blast induction at the moment. Working underground is different to open cut and I'm learning some differences. Okay. Are there many?
Oh, there we go. We can now carry on. But it's only one section. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, okay, I, I shall believe that it was your staring at the signal that changed it. Can you also try and change the next one? <laughs> Because it is supposed to be red. Yeah, and it looks like it is. It is red, chat. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And now I'm absolutely sure that I will be blocking the junction. That actually, uh, like I, I, I've never heard about rotary car dumper. Is it the one that can turn uh, both axles, front and, and back one, to to make the turns tighter? Flips the car upside down to unload it. Wow, that, that, that sounds very interesting. Okay, okay. Oops, uh, from what I can see, YouTube temporarily went down, sorry about that guys, uh, yeah, I, I see that the status came back, but if, if the stream lagged for you, yeah, that, that is something that I know of, uh, apparently, restreaming service stopped uh, streaming to YouTube for a second.
Okay, so we are waiting again. It shouldn't take long. And Gura Vodowska is pretty much my end stop. But wow, the distance between Bielichowo and Gura Vodowska is massive. Yeah, that's 25 minutes long trip. What's up? Is it? Yes, it is. Oh, there we go. Now we can depart. There we go, we are moving chat, we are moving! Railjet, hello and welcome to the stream. Uh, I hope you will have a great time today and uh, to answer your question. Right. It all depends how comfortable you feel with traffic rules. Uh, for the start, uh, you might try to take control over 
a small station that has, let's say, uh, four platforms or four tracks along two platforms, because uh, platforms are numbered slightly different in Poland. Uh, simple station, can't remember the name of, uh, of those stations, but in mo well, most of the stations at level zero uh, will have this kind of setting, apart from a few specific ones. Uh, and those are very easy sceneries to start. Uh, you will mostly get trains passing through. Uh, in some cases you will get some uh, passenger train uh, to stop on one of the platforms, so you can quite easily organize the traffic. You probably won't get too heavy traffic, although these days every single scenery will have a little bit higher volume of trains. Uh, and most importantly, uh, check on the wiki page, on the list of available sceneries. If you click on them, it will usually take you to a forum topic about specific scenery. And look how it looks like, What's, uh, what is the station schematics and, and stuff. And think if you can actually handle this kind of scenery. Uh, those are usually very easy sceneries to, to dispatch on. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's, that's the best advice I can give you about best scenery to start on. Because uh, obviously there are four different systems that you can use in, in the game. Uh, and they work slightly different. Uh, and finally, if you don't feel too confident about starting your adventure uh, as a dispatcher, uh, you might want to contact with the trainers on the forums and arrange uh, a training session for dispatching. And they will explain you all the signal boxes, all the types of signal boxes, uh, and everything that you need to know to actually start your adventure as a dispatcher. Uh, so, yeah, that is the best advice I can give you for selecting your starting scenery. Uh, I can't remember all the names because, like, there is quite a few of them. Uh, but I can remember that there are some sceneries that are very easy to dispatch on, uh, even as a uh, fairly new dispatcher. As long as you know the traffic rules and signs, you should be alright on pretty much anything. Uh, but you definitely need to learn how to use a software associated with dispatching because there is quite a few things that you need to know about it so yeah uh, the scenery shouldn't be a problem because most of them look exactly the same the difference is the type of uh, controls that you will use would you like to install? Uh, the only thing that, that, well, that we need to use is the software included with the game. So, um, SPK and SCS are included with the game. I think SP is also included with, uh, with the base game and, they are, uh, and that software is in the game files. Can't remember where exactly. Uh, when it comes to sceneries, uh, you don't really have to install them. Uh, focus on the sceneries that are included in uh, the game pack. Uh, those should be fairly easy to, to work with. And if you have to install any sceneries, um, it's pretty much copy-paste and that's it. Uh, right, chat, do we want to try with another timetable or um, 
well I I don't think we will get anything nice uh, because it's already 10 to 11 so the most we will get is like 20 kilometer long route so I guess yeah I, I think we can call it a day so yeah uh, let's end here let me just get to my final destination and hopefully not derail that would be really bad isn't it? there we go oh wow I'm, I'm giving I'm giving this locomotive a full throttle and from what I can see I'm still slowing down oh there we go that's a nice SM42 with fairly short consist Um, well, it's not a developer, it's a train, uh, trainer team, so you need to catch trainers, not a developers. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm approaching Gura Vodovska. I should be there in about 10, probably 15 minutes. And then we will call it a day. Um, it's mostly because, yeah, it's it's already late. Uh, in Poland, it's yeah 10.38. Uh, so, uh, yeah, basically people will go to sleep in about an hour or so. And then it will be hard to drive anywhere. Oh wow, chat. My train is so heavy that my locomotive can't go over 65. Wow. <coughs> no, we are approaching neutral section. Oh wow, that is a long one. But it's also a high speed route, uh, so yeah, that's that's why the neutral section will be a little bit longer. There we go. Locomotive is clearly struggling. That's what I get for driving a heavy freight train. I will be very sluggish.
Oh, wow. Going uphill with this train is really tough. I just hope that none of the signals will show red because, yeah, getting back to speed with this thing, wow, it's not going to be really possible, isn't it? I don't know why, but every time I have to go through this particular scenery, which is, well, this is quite long stretch of tracks, uh, as you can see. I am traveling with something that is very sluggish and slow, but every time I drive an express train or fast passenger train, or something that can actually reach 130, 140 kilometers per hour. I don't tend to get this particular scenery. I don't know if it's just my bad luck or if, if the game just decides, nope, you are not going to go through this scenery. Okay. Oh wow, I'm doing 56 kilometers per hour and it doesn't seem like I'm gonna be able to speed up. I see you got this kind of problem. I got radio stop, had a train in front of me. Hmm, that's interesting.
uh, the fact that all the catenary is gone yeah it happens on some of the graphic cards and it happens for most users uh, but uh, what is your graphics card to be honest uh, like uh, if I may ask is that one of the radions or is that uh, one of the Nvidia cards Yeah, it, it happens to pretty much everyone. Asus 2080 Super. I mean, come on. Nvidia 2080 should, should handle this game without any problems. So, this bug I'm not sure about your graphics settings, what are they? Uh, but yeah. Uh, there should be a topic about this particular issue on GitLab. If I remember correctly. not sure if it's related to graphics settings because I, I managed to push this game all the way to ultra uh, and that was back when I was using 2060 well as much as you can consider ultra in this game because obviously it's a unity based game and I literally never had the issue with things disappearing on me oops I, I think I pushed this train a little bit too far now yeah I lost too much speed so now I need to be a bit more careful with my throttle yeah so for that bug uh, you might check your graphics settings uh, what I recommend you to do, uh, providing that you have that good card, uh, the rest of your equipment should also match it one way or another. Uh, so first of all, install the game on SSD, uh, because that's, that might impact your loading speed and, and the fact that the game doesn't load something. Uh, max LOD distance, uh, this setting in graphic is responsible for rendering things at distance uh, that should be set to zero apparently uh, because that sets it to unlimited if you set it to any other number like one two or three it will limit how many objects the game will render for you and that's not something you want uh, and finally uh, set the preset to, to like high or, or ultra or whatever that is called uh, to make sure that the game is utilizing all your graphics cards as, as much as it can uh, because it, like you shouldn't be having any problems with performance definitely not on 2080 and and check if if the game runs correctly uh, also make sure to uh, uh, as always, update your graphics drivers if they are not updated for a while. Uh, that, that might change things. And try again. Uh, yeah, you shouldn't have such issues with the game. Or at least I never had that issue when things never rendered. Okay, I'm getting closer to that. <laughs> I 
Yeah, make sure you got the latest drivers for your 2080. Uh, because since the game updated the newer version of Unity, uh, yeah, that, that might be a reason why you struggle. Oh, I see. You never had that issue in single player. I mean, I also never had that issue in single player. It's it's multiplayer where things usually go bad. Okay. Anyway, I stopped a little bit far to the signal, but uh, providing that I can now leave, it doesn't really matter. So, final look to my train, or on my train. Yeah, I, I still got quite a bit of a distance to that signal. But it doesn't matter, because all I have to do is to go back to main menu. There we go. <sighs> right, guys, that was a wild ride. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, today's stream. Uh, I'm I'm not sure about you, but I, I do hope that, that you also had fun watching me fail in the first place and then uh, drive this freight train all the way to the end. Uh, did I plus plus? Uh, oh dear, uh, no. <laughs> Ah, oh, silly me. Thanks, Ralif. Uh, yeah, it's a bit too late now to uh, to give him a thumbs up, but yeah. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, guys, uh, I'll be back tomorrow uh, with our community uh, stream where me and anyone of you guys that would like to join us uh, will be playing Railroads Online. Uh, so yeah, if you have the game and if you want to join us at 5 p.m. Uh, British time, uh, we will be playing that. Um, obviously, I usually start the server a little bit sooner so you guys can join before uh, I start the stream and, and do all that stuff. Uh, but definitely, uh, I look forward to, to see you tomorrow. Uh, our stream will probably last for a good few hours. So uh, like I, I never plan specific time frame for those because yeah, they, they usually end up being like quite long uh, seven eight hours <laughs> uh, so yeah we will spend quite a few hours building driving trains uh, derailing and doing all the fun stuff with our tiny little railroad and yeah uh, guys uh, thank you very much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already and finally, if you want to give me that extra support, you might consider becoming a channel member on YouTube. Uh, you can find the details when you press that membership button. Uh, there are all the details about the offer. Uh, thanks for tonight. Uh, have a great day or night, wherever you are in the world. And, well, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>